Hi, it's Cheryl here, and I'm here today to show you a rainbow loom locket, which you can put a picture in. And this is also going to be the same tutorial that you're going to have for the rainbow loom poison ring, which will be the same ring without a picture in it, and a rainbow loom locket necklace. And I'm going to show you how to do all these on the loom. They're going to start with your loom. My loom, it is pink, but this is my rainbow loom. I spray painted it pink because I was sharing it with a large group of people with their looms. And um, kids were using it and I didn't want my loom to get mixed up with other ones. So it was just a good way to differentiate it. Um, but this is my rainbow loom because it's the only loom that I do use because I think they're the best looms out there. And um, so we're going to get started. You're going to start with your loom pointing to with openings to the left. And I'm using all the bars straight across for this design. You're going to start by putting your band on at the middle, bottom, and taking it out to the right side. And then moving it up one peg, one set of pegs, and then two sets of pegs. So it's middle bottom, out to the right, one set of pegs, two sets of pegs. So it'll be on these three pegs. You're going to do the same thing for the other side, middle bottom to the left, one set of pegs. Sorry, I was holding my adjustment a second. Two sets of pegs. It was getting blurry, so I had to make sure that our my autofocus wasn't going to blur out on us again. So, so that's why we had that pause. Okay, once you have this, and it was had it started at the first middle pin, and it's out across, across the first three pegs, you're going to take it back in to the middle. So since we started up to the right, we're going to go down to the down first from the right, and then we are going to do the bottom part. And that's our first diamond that we're going to do. We're going to do one more of these. And you're going to do it the same way. You're going to do it up. It's going to it won't be on these pegs here. One set. two sets, three sets. I'm sorry. Two sets, one too many. We want it on three pins. One, two, three pins. And then it's going to go down. And you go to the bottom. Down. Across these three pins. and then up. So that is our setup. I will put a pattern on my blog for this so you will have it to reference for your initial setup. From this point you're going to push all of this down. This is the initial bands to go around right here where the silver is. Now for my neck, for this one I'm going to use red and black. So this is going to be for the woven part here. You're going to start by putting a band on your one, two, three, fourth peg in. And then I'm flipping it backwards onto the middle. Okay. And then I'm twisting it so it's going forward onto the end. You don't have to do the flip, the wet, flipping it back and forth the way I do. The whole object is though, it goes on, it gets twisted, it goes on the second one, it gets twisted, it goes on the third one. Whatever way you're twisting it between these, you want to be consistent and twist it the same way between all four bands you're going to put on here.
three, and four. So you're putting four bands on here. Use whatever pattern you want for your design. Okay. If you want a design that is one color going up two colors going like black white black white black white you're going to do the pattern on one side whatever color you start with on this side you're starting with the opposite color on the other side since i'm not doing that i'm doing two colors and then two colors and two colors i'm going to do it this a little different i'm going to do the exact same pattern on this side as i do on this side and when i'm done you'll see what i get with that so I'm changing it up a little bit. This one I'm going to show you how to make into a poison ring, but I'm going to show you how to glue the locket picture into the, the necklace when I do the necklace. So you'll get to see how to do both. All right, so I have four bands on both sides going in the same direction with the twist. And I'm going to move down to this one and do the same thing. Oh, um, I always get asked about my bands. These bands are I get on Amazon and they are from the Lucky Loom Company. If you check out my blog, I've got uh, coupon codes on there that you can get a discount on them. Oh, actually, only the red ones are from the Lucky Loom Company. The black ones are from Rainbow Loom. They are part of the Metallic, pack, metallic Mixed Pack from Rainbow Loom because that's the one pack that they have with silicone bands that are around also. So they can be found on RainbowLoom.com. All right, so once I have four, 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 and four on these pegs, I'm going to take a band and put it on all three of these and I'm going to do this all the way down any place where all four are woven. And the hooks that I use, I get asked about them too, I get them um, at craft stores. They are regular crochet hooks. This one right here is a 2.25 millimeter. All right, so from here we're going to I'm going to start pulling them up and over two at a time into the middle. You don't want to do more than two at a time because chances are you're going to pull them off of the loom, the bands off the loom if you do that and then you'll have to start redoing things. So don't try to rush it. Take your time and carefully pull them over. You can do it both sides do this. You of course can turn it to pull them over. I'm doing it from this side because I want you to have a good top view of how to do it. I have a good side view. black is blending with my black bands around the side. Okay, so they're all over on that one. Now 
I also get asked about the noise in my room. That's my air conditioner. It's very hot right now in Pennsylvania. And that's where we're at, where I'm at recording. And very muggy, so I have my air conditioner on. I'm sorry if it's loud for some people. Okay, so once you have them all pulled up and over, you're ready to start hooking. Okay, once you have everything in place, like it is now, you are ready to start hooking. I'm going to start hooking. Alright, one thing I need to do first is put three bands around our end peg here. Alright, put one band three times. Two, three. So I just took my black band and wrapped that around there three times. And then I'm going to start from this side here because this band is my top band. So I'm going to reach down in there and grab that band and pull it over and pull it back to this side. I'm going to do the same thing through all these bands up to this post. Just grabbing the bottom band and pulling it up and over and back. Come back here, you. Really need to order me one of those metal hooks that uh, Rainbow Loom has. They look like they work quite well. I don't know if any of you have used them. You'll have to let me know what you think of them. Alright, then I'm going to start on the other side and do the same thing. I like my crochet hook for most of my work, but not for this part for the hooking. And I do not care for the plastic hooks from Rainbow Loom, but the metal ones look really nice. Okay, so I hooked all the way up and around this side first, and then I went to the top and did the exact same thing. Now I'm at this post, I'm going to look at this and see that this is the top one when I look through. This is the top band, so this is the side I'm starting on. So I'm going to go down through and grab this band because it's the top one. I can get a good shot of that. I can get it, not the bottom one. And I'm going to pull it up around the post and pull it back and go around this side first, pulling the bottom band up and around the post and back. Okay, once I'm done this whole side, I'm going to go to the other side. I'm definitely going to order one of those metal hooks to try. Since I seem to be doing it more loom top work. Okay, so everything's hooked. All the way across, I'm going to take a band, go down through all these pins, or all these bands, grab this band at the bottom. with my hook. <laughs> Let's do it this way a little, a little easier. Grab my band with my hook and pull it up through. Pull it up through. Put it on the end of there. And I'm going to pull this up. So when I pull it off, you guys can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to pull everything off of the loom carefully. These pieces, you can just take your hook and gently take them off so that they don't break, like I'm doing here. They just 
catch a little bit on that middle piece, but that's okay. It's just because we we didn't did not take out the middle one because we didn't want to. All right, and this gives you your little locket piece or your poison ring piece. All right, from here, I'm going to show you how to put the clasp on this so you can make it into a ring. You're going to, first of all, you're going to take this piece that I just put on and take it off the end, and you're going to pull one hoop through the other. And that's going to give you the hook that hooks around and hooks through the clasp for the ring. Okay, I'm going to set that down a minute. This out of the way. I'm going to take two bands. The first band you're going to put on the hook. And you're going to wrap it one, two, three, four times. The other band on your hook. And then you're going to pull this up over. Or you can slide it through whichever is easier for you. I like to show the pull up over method because a lot of people have a hard time with sliding it through. And you're going to take this end, put it on your hook, and pull it through this one. So you end up with a little knot on the end of your band. And this is what you're going to put on this end of your locket. You're going up to where your braiding is. You've got two bands here. You're going through them, find about the center place, and pull your locket hook through, band through. Okay? Hold it on the inside, take it off the hook, push your hook through again, and grab it. I've lost my focus. There we go. Grab it and pull it back through. Once you have it back through, take the hoop and put it over the knot. And that gives you your knot for the band to fit over so that it hooks shut. So that it'll open and close. And you take the band off and your ring opens up. All right, so the next thing I'm going to show you is how to turn this into a ring. Okay, now that we have the shell part, I'm going to show you how to make this ring part to this. I'm just using the ring to get a nice lock on our, on our bands up close. So I can show you how to make the rings. Okay. All right. From here, I'm going to do, well, I'm going to show you how to do the rings. The first thing you need is to grab just a single band. I still want a better focus. Come on, good, good little camera, focus up for me. Right, you're going to grab a single band, wrap it around your hook one time. Put it on, wrap it around one time, so you've got it eight on your hook. Take that eight, tuck your pinky through it, and pull it down on your hook. Grab a second band, wrap it around, so you've got it in an eight again. Pull it down, and this is tricky, you know, it takes a little work to do this. You're going to pull these two hoops through that one and that one, and then you're going to hook the hook on the end. Okay, it's, it's going to take a little practice getting this. I know that. And don't worry if you don't get it the first try, but if you can learn how to do this, you're going to be able to make nice little rings out of these, and you'll be, you'll be able to, you'll be happy you're able to do it. <laughs> All right. What I'm showing you how to do is this little, this nice tight little, uh, I guess you would call it double capped, I guess, fishtail but we're double capping by twisting the band twice. Okay, double cap single fishtail, I guess we could call it. So it's, it's a nice tight little fishtail 
by twisting the band twice on the hook. But it's a little tricky to do, and it takes some getting used to. There we go. And now that I have it focused up, I'm actually going to restart the cut and restart from here. Okay, you're going to take the band, you're going to put it on the hook, and then you're going to wrap it around one time and pull it down so it's like a U. Tuck your finger in there and pull it down. Grab another band, put it on the hook, and wrap around one time. Pull it down so it's like any so it's an EO. Take then you're gonna take these two pieces, these two hoops, and pull them through these two hoops. Very carefully. One, two, one, two. Then you're gonna take the end piece and put it on the end of the hook. Oops, and I missed one. That's what that's how you do it. And then you keep going, pull this down, put it on the hook, wrap it around, pull it down, pull these two, you know, sometimes I pull it out and I end up with one, then I gotta push it back through. I'm make sure you get both, band, both pieces of the band. See, I'm pulling this down nice and tight so my opening's wide. One, two. Put it on the end. One. Oh, get back here, you. Two. So it's tricky, especially the beginning of it. Once you get going, it gets easier to do. All right. Put a little more light over here. Put the band on. Wrap it. Oops. Wrap it. Pull it down. Pull both of these, throw, put the hook through the end. Put it on, put it around, pull this row, one and two, put it on the end. And I would say you probably are going to need a smaller hook for this than a rainbow loom hook. I could be wrong. I've never tried it with a rainbow loom hook. But I'll be surprised if you can do it with one because off, the, the hooks of those are awfully big. But then again, your bands are not as tight as mine, so you might, have, might be able to do it. My bands do not stretch as much as yours. You, you might be okay. So you see we're, we're slowly getting a nice little ring shape out of this. I'm making sure every time I pull it through that I see two, two bands coming through, not just one. to put like one or two more because part of the the ring is part of your um, size of your the ring top is part of the size of the ring it adds a couple spaces as you can see so when you're sizing it up keep that in mind Let me 
got one that time. Try that again. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put show you how to attach this now. Okay. There it is. Couldn't find my locket. Okay, so you're gonna make sure your locket's open. And I'm going to, since I'm using this nice thin hook, put my hook right through bottom of my locket and I'm putting it through like here's here's where the first band's going through the first weaving I'm putting it through right about there and I'm actually going to pull this through and I'll take this side off I'm only going to pull the two hoops through to the inside I got two hoops pulled to the inside. Now I'm going to poke my hook back out and grab the other two hoops. And then flip my hook in. So now both those hoops are on the inside. I really should have used the lighter color. Sorry, folks. I hope that isn't making it too hard for you to see this. Now that I have both my hoops on the inside, I'm going to grab a band and pull it through both those pieces, all four of those pieces. That attaches that side. And I'm twist it around so that I'm at the other side and poke my hook through again. And grab one of these and pull it through. Nope, oh, did I get it? No, I dropped it. Try it again. Grab it and pull it through. Poke it back through up further. When you put it back through you have to make sure you're like on the other side of some bands so you're not putting it through the same spot. So I've got some bands and I'm putting it back through. And then I'm pulling it back again. Okay. I'm going to take it off of all of this hook and carefully Turn it around so it's, the hook's going through the other side. Okay. Now I'm going to pull a band through these. These two. And these four here are what your clip's going to go through. The C clip. If your clip won't hold that many, you can pull a couple of them together, pull like pull it so it's one and one. I've got a nice big clip that'll hold everything, so I'm gonna put it through all of these. I'm gonna use a colored clip just for the sake of you guys being able to see what I'm doing. change it to a clear one later. So I just put a clip band through those, clip it into place, tuck it into the middle, and lock the ring. And there I have a poison ring. It's called it, like I said, it's called a poison ring because they used, in the medieval times they would put poison inside of them so that they could sneak, you know, somebody, they sneak up and somebody's trying to dump the poison in. <laughs> but it's, it's just, you can put a little something inside of it and keep it in it. All right. Now, what you can do to make this into a locket is you take and you cut out a little square, a little round piece of cardboard to fit inside of it. Here and there. You can do that. You're going to do this for the top. You're going to cut two of these because you want one for the top and one for the bottom. Okay, so you want to cut two pieces of cardboard. And then you're going to take your picture and you're going to 
tape it to this piece of cardboard. I actually, I was going to glue them at first, but I realized that tape works better because when you take the tape and you put it over the picture on the cardboard, it gives you like a nice cover for it so that it keeps longer. It isn't just the printed picture. So you're gonna you, you put the tape on the cardboard, and then you're gonna then you'll trim around the edges. Yeah, make sure it's smoothed out real good, and then you'll trim around the edges to trim the tape off, and trim cut out your picture that way. Of course, you need to print your picture out nice and tiny. tape on it, it's been turned around. And I'm not going to heat it up now, but you're going to take your glue gun, open this one, you take your glue gun and you fill, it's like a little pocket here, fill it up with the glue. So it's nice and full and the glue's sticking up. And stick your picture right on top of it and hold it down for a few seconds and then your picture will stick in place and then it will that's what makes it into a locket and you, you can do a picture on the top and the bottom or just on the bottom I just did a picture in the bottom but I still put a piece of cardboard over the top so it would lock it would shut nice and it would still give it a finished look All right, I'm going to show you how to make this into the necklace also that doesn't take long to stop and show you how to do that. All right, when this you first take this off of the loom, you, you end up with it with on your hook like this. When you're making it into a necklace, you're going to start chaining right from this point to make the chain for your necklace. You're just going to start chaining right up from that point. doing a single. Pulling it through the two, putting it on the end. And I'm sure that most of you know what I'm doing here. Nice and simple single. You're going to do this and make it long enough to put into a necklace the length you want to either put it over your head or put a link on the back so you can take it on and off. And I'm not going to do the whole necklace here, but so, so you get the idea. That's how to do it on the one side. And you're going to do it long enough on both sides so it meets in the back and you're putting the clasp on the back. I'm not doing the whole side here because I'm not going to take your time to do that. On the other side to start it, you're simply I'm going to go to the end here and you're going to go through this piece where you did the triple at the end to end cap it and pull a band through it and that's how you're going to start the chain on this side. much to that. And then you're going to do this side to the same length as this side when you chain it. Obviously I'm making these short because you do not need to sit and watch me chain the entire thing into a single. Once you have them the length you want them for a full necklace, in order to make it hold together, because your necklace is going to be like this, okay? In order to make your locket hold together, you're going to take a band 
and not shoot it across from like I just did. <laughs> and you're going to put it around and wrap it one time. And this band will hold your necklace closed when you want it closed. And then you simply open it like that and slide it up. And then you'll be able to show your pictures off or keep something inside of it, just like the poison ring, either one. And then you slide. Well, I'll show you on this one, it'll show you better. And then you slide the band back down by pulling the chain to close it. You open it like this. You close it like this. And that closes it up nice. Okay, so that's how you do the locket. So if you have any questions, if I can help with anything, please let me know. Be as descriptive as you can in your questions. And I'll hopefully be able to help you with them and address them. So that was our locket and our poison ring slash locket ring. And thanks for watching. Bye.